Here is the test setup. The cuvette on the right contains 150 microliters of concentrated 1 micron carboxyl coated polystyrene microspheres. The empty cuvette will be used to collect the sample once it has been reconcentrated. First, a new concentration cell is installed onto the instrument. At the end of the run, this disposable element will be discarded, eliminating the possibility of cross-contamination. The concentrated microspheres will now be diluted into 45 milliliters of filtered distilled water. These yellow-green test particles provide an excellent test surrogate for bacteria such as E. coli. The now dilute sample is placed on the sample platform, and the concentrating pipette tip is lowered into the liquid. The concentration process begins when the user selects Start Run on the control panel. The dilute sample is immediately drawn into the concentration cell. The solid particles are captured on the surface of the filter, while the liquid is pumped through to the permeate. The particles of interest remain in the concentration cell and never come in contact with the instrument's fluidics, eliminating the need for decontamination between runs. This allows multiple samples to be processed with only seconds between them, while providing zero sample to sample carryover. In this example, the 45 milliliter sample is processed in 34 seconds, giving a processing rate of 80 milliliters per minute. An additional 5 to 10 seconds are required to finalize the run, then the particles are ready to be removed from the surface of the filter. The operator simply selects Extract on the instrument control panel, and InnovaPrep's patented wet foam elution process instantly resuspends the particles into an adjustable preset volume of fluid. The foam quickly breaks down into a liquid. Therefore, at the end of the run, we are left with our original 45 milliliters of filtered water in the permeate and 150 microliters of concentrated test particles in the cuvette. The entire process took less than two minutes to complete, including setup.